Hi YouTube, my name's Drew and you're watching Drew's Obsessions, your one-stop spot to get anything beard and hair related. Today's video is going to be a little bit different than normal. I'm going to be doing a review of a product here and it's, uh, it's kind of beard related but it kind of can be used in a lot of different settings. What am I talking about? Spy glasses. These glasses are supposed to look totally normal, like reading glasses. They're going to have a little lens in the front and they're supposed to be completely discreet so no one's supposed to know that you're recording. So uh, in some ways that's kind of a negative I guess because people don't know you're recording them. But in this case I'm going to be using these glasses for when I do my beard trimmings. I'm going to be putting these on and then I can talk at the camera or I can talk at the mirror and I can get a whole view of my, uh, my beard. So let's open up this package, let's figure out what's inside and let's get started on this review. Before we get started on this video, I would like to remind you guys to hit that subscribe button down below so you can stay tuned for all of my beard and hair tip videos. Uh, I upload once a week, once every two weeks, something like that. So uh, there's always lots of information for you guys regarding uh, wispy beard growth or just hair growth in general. Okay, this package comes in bubble wrap as you can see. Alright, first impressions. Uh, nice box, a little bit of a dent there. But uh, kind of a velvety feeling box, you know, it looks kind of, kind of nice. Open it up and inside we have the glasses themselves. Okay, let's put this here. We'll check. There's also a, uh, looks like a mini SD. Actually, it looks like maybe a proprietary uh, charging cable here. It looks like uh, it's a slightly different shape than a mini uh, HD or mini USB it says uh, world's first HD quality video camera eyewear with inscription uh, read disc function brilliant and rich natural colors high quality video images flexible design suits for different faces for different races and ages 5 megapixel CMOS camera for clear digital video recording we'll put that to the test User-friendly operation button for easy control, I sure hope so. Uh, must for trend spotter, journalist, traffic police, travelers, hikers, mountain climbers, students, life lovers, and etc. Okay, so if you love life, you might want to pick up a pair of these spy glasses. Let's uh, read on. They're supposed to be 1920 by 1080. They record in the AVI video format, which is less than ideal, but it uh, might be okay for this case since, you know, you're not recording, supposedly recording high def, you know, great quality. This is more for a spy type of thing, so you're capturing all those kind of sneaky moments. What else have we got here? Uh, one to two hour power duration, 30 frames per second. First impressions, let's move the box out of the way here. The camera, which is supposedly right in the middle there, right here, is undetectable. I'm looking and I am really looking for even okay in the very in a very strange like in the right light in the right angle I can just get a hint of a circle but it's I was imagining it being much worse actually this is quite good okay so these are my glasses as we have right now so these are my burbs my burberries let's switch them out for these they uh, they don't look too bulky on first first uh, look here they are I'll check myself out in the mirror huh not bad, not that bad, I must say. I mean, you've seen these before. If you've looked up any other reviews, you'll see these before. Uh, in terms of actual, you know, like the glass or the plastic in the front here, it feels to me like plastic. It's plastic, but it's not bad. Like it doesn't distort my vision. In a lot of these cameras, you're gonna notice that there's like a, there's a spot. Oh yeah, there it is. For the SD card that supposedly goes in there. There's a little flap over here on the side for the charging cable. See, there is also a little tiny button up here on the top that you press. Gives you a little resistance and a little click to it. But other than that, like, I mean, the main issue here is can you see that camera in the front? And I would say no. From, okay, direct, looking on directly, no. Side, not, no, not at all. Okay, just if I ever catch the light ever so slightly, that's the worst part, but really, I don't think anyone would notice quite good. I would really highly recommend these based on the look alone. Um, but let's see how they perform. Okay, let's see. Let's test the auto here. It says it's working. There's no indicator on the actual camera at this point. There's no, I would like to almost to see a little blue light or something inside just so I know. If I want to stop this recording, I have to press the button again, which is fine. Uh, as you can see here, I am in the 
camera. This is my setup, so you can kind of compare the two. So obviously I was using a DSLR, uh, much, much higher resolution camera, bigger sensor and everything for my actual video. And uh, this is a little bit of a comparison video using the uh, exact same lighting and everything uh, with these glasses. So let's go take them a, a tour around my house a little bit. Maybe I'll go outside so you can get a different uh, a, a view. Can you see where the camera is? I mean, I assume it's right here. Or maybe not. Like, look carefully. Where do you think it is? Funny, I just assumed it was right here, but I see nothing there. So... I guess... What is this right here? Mm, that can't be. Yeah, it's right there. Oh, it is in there? Yeah. I, I can't believe it, because it's so... It's the exact same color of plastic. Like, yeah. I thought maybe it would be clear. No. I assume I, I know. Mean, they look totally normal. That's awesome. I know, like no one would ever know. So if you're looking for, in order to buy these things for some spy spyware, this might be your uh, bet. These are a great choice. Here's my garden. My carrots in there. Some beans. My radishes. Some zucchinis. I've already picked quite a lot. Some spaghetti squash. Blueberries in the back. Loads of tomatoes. Let's get a zoom in here. I'm gonna look really close. Alright, let's go take a look at my pool. Need to do a little uh, cleaning of the pool. Okay, I'm walking. Here I am in my. Looks pretty good. Okay, so I'm just gonna set up my Canon here. Uh, as you can see, I'm wearing the, the glasses. I am unbelievably impressed after looking at the actual footage of it. Uh, obviously, there are some drop frames. You're not expecting this to be your main camera, but it is gonna be an awesome camera if you wanna get some interesting shots, especially undetected. So as you can see, they look really good. Uh, come a little closer here. Uh, there, so they look really good. In my opinion, they don't look uh, too thick, too heavy. I, I don't think there'd be any reason why anyone would suspect anything other than maybe the glass is a little shiny, but it's not actually glass, it's plastic. Um, but other than that, I mean, the sides are not too thick. They feel good. They don't irritate your face. Very stylish. Uh, I really like them a lot. Again, it's really easy to uh, film with them. You just hold the little button down for three seconds. The little standby light will pop on there. One, two, three. Okay, there we go. It's blinking three times and then it goes off and that way you know it's recording. Here I am recording. Let's do a little comparison one last time. You can see the video here on my glasses. One other thing I noticed is once I plugged it back into my Macintosh, I typed in the, I looked at my SD card. You go to the DCIM folder, which is the picture folder. And sure enough, there they are right there. Even though it doesn't necessarily make a sound or bring it up or anything, they are on the, on the SD card. You can access them very easily, as it turns out, on your Mac, on your PC, Windows 10, any computer, it will work. So I'd like to say thank you very much to Fashion Cloth here. Uh, I'm gonna link it here. These, uh, this company sent them to me for review. Um, again, it's an unbiased review, other than the fact that they sent me these these uh, glasses for the review. Uh, I'm not getting compensated in any way, but I do really like them. So make sure to check them out on the website here uh, and I'll check you in the next video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. See you next time.